members are my group members, Alia, Eric, and Namola. Um, me and Namola were in charge of research and the component testing, and Alia and Eric were in charge of the uh, hardware design. Uh, the goals for the semester were to contribute in the unilateral neglect of uh, research and also make a preclinical design of the cage that is self automated. Uh, unilateral neglect is a neurological disorder that occurs when a victim suffers a stroke and they lose senses and pass their body. Um, the whole point of our project this year, we divided into two different semesters. Semester one was research and design. Semester two was uh, testing. Um, the whole point was to rehabilitate the, we're using live rats, we're working in the Ensero building with Professor Reinecker. Um, we, used, uh, we wanted to rehabilitate the rats using five senses. We're, using, we're doing audio, visual, uh, body stimulation, whisker stimulation, and balance stimulation. The whole point is to strengthen the, uh, the nerves in the brain. The whole thing with unilateral neglect is they're able to tell that it's there, but they, the brain is not like, transmit it, they don't comprehend it. So the whole point with us is with these stimulations, we're using the vagus nerve in the brain. We're stimulating that at the same time. And we're able to uh, strengthen these nerve connections and have the brain be able to transmit them. The, um, the engineering part was designing the cage. We use SolidWorks to design the cage. We have the cage built. It's outside. We can show everybody during the poster presentation. Um, we had to order different components, such as stepper motors, uh, LED speakers. Um, the stepper motors were used for like, the balance and the, uh, the body stimulation. Um, LEDs for light speakers for whatnot. Um, we had a couple limitations, since when we, we test the rat, we find out which side is neglected. And uh, a limitation with speakers was we didn't want the other side of the rat to hear what's going on. And there's no point in the stimulation for the vagus nerve. So we have a background, like white noise or any kind of just background noise to, to mask it. Um, we, built the, we built the cage this semester. Next semester we're going to start uh, testing and we have, we're designing the PCB. We're finishing it hopefully in a couple weeks, and we're able to program next semester and get everything just self self running. We don't have to. We don't want any interference. We've been able to put the rat in the cage, and just let it do its thing, and pick different tests. Um, do you have any questions? Do you have to attach probes or something to the rat? To do yes. Um, at the front of the cage, there's a nose poke, and it like will. We train it to put its nose in, and when it does that, that's when we run the stimulation. And then the uh, we're working with Professor Renneker, and the rats are giving us. They have like sense. They do surgery, and they have senses, sensory like chips in their brain, and they're able to sense if the brain activity is, is happening. So they actually cause the unilateral neglect. In yes, the they are inducing right. unilateral neglect into the into the. To the we're going to train the rats first to respond to the stimulus, and then they're going to induce it in our unilateral neglect, and then test both sides of the body to make sure right. try to rehabilitate the rat. Have you made any uh, positive results with this yet? Uh, we've actually built, well, we haven't actually tested the rat yet. We haven't gotten, we haven't gotten a PCB in any of them. Coding anything, so I that should be next nice one. one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you uh, uh, are you are you going to have to train the rat to stick his nose in there yeah. so you can be shot? Yeah. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> it's not, yeah. The uh, it, it's very low current and it connects straight to their brain. They don't feel it. They uh, okay. yeah, they're actually already trained to go into the nose poke because they run other tests over at Okay. So you don't have to do that. No, no. it's all trained. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're all ready for that. That's a big challenge. <laughs>
<laughs> what is your plan doing? Can you sense it at all? Are you monitoring uh, synapse fines at all? Or what, what is that plan? Uh, it's, so the vagus nerve is basically, it's the nerve that makes, whenever you lose functionality in the brain, it, the, it seem, the nerve, the vagus nerve is the one that makes the rest of the brain pick up what was lost. So if they, so during a the stroke, they lose a part of the brain, and they lose function in half their body. So when we stimulate the base nerve with the test, like we're going to stimulate the nerve as we test, it's going to, the nerve is going to make the brain absorb the lost parts of the, like what's lost, the neurological uh, parts that, are, that aren't working right now because of the stroke. And that's how it fixes it. Did they just have to the wide brain in the field? So it's like rewires the brain. Like when you when your ears start ringing and then they come back, like you lost that part of the brain, but the brain around it is working to uh, make it work. So. What was the biggest challenge that you guys faced? Um, just the like design limitations. We didn't when we put the wrap in, we don't want it to be able to move around pretty much. We just targeting that one side of the body. So all the components with the LEDs and the speakers and everything, just trying to make everything work together so it's just, it, there's no interference. If this works, uh, what do you expect to be the end result? I just think in terms of the world. Well, they, uh, they're actually working on a way to stimulate the vagus nerve with optics instead of actual implants. So they plan to use this on humans one day. And if they can prove that this pairing with other stimulation can uh, rehabilitate you know, I don't want to go back to the 